Good afternoon, Judeline. Good afternoon. Okay, Judeline, can you tell me about yourself? I am Judeline, 40 years old. The fourth child among my siblings. I am very studying in philosophy in Philippines. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer. Why do you want to work as a maid? I wanted to work as a maid because I'm comfortable working and doing the household chores. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because I love their culture and I'm comfortable working there. How are you qualified for this job? I am qualified because I am hard working and efficient and polite worker. May I know what your educational level is? I am high school graduate. What was your recent working experience? My, my recent working experience. Okay. Um, how many years? Since when? Since 2016-2018. Okay, do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. Whose babies are you taking care of? My niece and nephews. How about elderly? No, ma'am, but I'm willing to learn. Do you have any other special skill? Yes, ma'am. Like? I can I can sew. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother in law or your relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother in law together? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me what sort of food can you cook? I can cook Filipino foods and uh, Indian foods. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the houses that I am mentioning to you just now, which do you like most? I, I like the household chores. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours? Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years. Can you describe for me your attitude? I am hardworking, efficient, and polite worker. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I can assure that I will work hard in Malaysia because I, uh, this is the only way I can help my family to support them. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advanced salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical diseases? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? I am fit to work. 
Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in abroad? Yes, ma'am. Whose uh, family members and which country? My brother in Abu Dhabi. Okay, Judeline, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will tell my employer first about my family's problem. Okay, what help would you give to them? Maybe I can help them by financial, by financial assistance. Okay, so if in case the employer will not allow you to go back, what are you going to tell them? I will. I will ask them to help my family to for 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 financial. Okay, so you will ask them to help you send the money. Yes. Sir. And you inform your family that you cannot able to go back home. Yes, sir. Okay, so if in case your employer is watching you right now, Judy Lynn, what do you want to tell them? Um, I want to tell them that I have work. I'm hardworking, efficient, and honest uh, worker. Okay, tell us about yourself again. I am Judy Archie, 40 years old. Uh, I am the fourth among eight siblings. Okay, and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Because I am comfortable uh, working there and I love their culture. Okay, thank you very much, Judeline. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, Mommy.